Hi there, let's do an atom in motion. Okay, so this is the one I did earlier. Got a little nucleus with some electrons whizzing around. Okay, so let's start with the nucleus. Okay, so I'm going to start with just a simple shape. I'm going to make a circle like so. And I'm going to feather that. I'm going to fill it with a gradient. I could choose a preset. What, what shall we have? Mm -hmm. I see blue. Ah, oh, yeah, quite like that. In fact, I quite fancy red. So let's go with uh, something like that. Okay. So I've made a little nucleus there. I'll make that also. So, there we go. So now on this, I'm going to put the replicator. Okay, so oh, we've got lots of them now. So I'm going to make this 3D, make it a box shape. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take down the scale for the particles. And then I'm going to take down the number of columns. I'm going to change it from time to tile fill to random fill. So make the size a little smaller, make that look bigger. That's looking okay, that's looking more like a kind of atomic nucleus there. So just playing about with these settings size, points, scale. Okay. And also we can change like the random seed until we get something looks more like a kind of nucleus. I had a good one before. All right, there we go. I like that one. Okay. So next I want to add a little kind of jitter to this. So I'm going to go into here. And in my library, on my simulations, uh, and my parameter, sorry, I'm going to add randomize. Just drop that on here. Go to my inspector. The amount, and I need to apply it to a value. So I'm going to go to object jitter all. And put the amount by lots. Increase the frequency and noisiness. And there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. And even take the amount a little more. That's good. So we've got our jittering nucleus there. And so I'm going to close this group. I'm going to rename this nucleus. Ooh, please come in for me. There we go. I'll just lock that. Now I'm going to make another particle. Do just do another circle. Oops, I need to do a new group to put that in. So hold down shift. There we go. And this colour. Let's have a we'll have a yellow one. Feather that off. These are going to be our electrons. So again. I'm going to go with a, this time, also going to make it 3D, and I'm going to make it a circle, okay, and I'm going to change outline, all right, so I'm going to whack this, sort of increase the radius, center this up, there we go, and I also probably want to center this one too. So, I now, I want this group to be 3D, okay, my replicator, so this is 3D, 
Okay, so this is all good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change my properties and on the rotation, I'm going to just change this, so flatten it like so. And if I go to, and I'm going to put a camera on this. Okay, so I can look at my perspective. So I need this. Go to my replicator, I need my radius to be bigger. And I'm going to click on this to face camera. Okay, let's go back to my active camera there. And what I want this to do is to actually spin around. So I'll take the radius down a little bit. There we go. I want to make this spin around around this nucleus. Okay, and I'm going to put the nucleus on top to hide the ones behind it. Okay, so go to my replicator and I can do that with the offset. There we go. So rather than put keyframes, I'm just going to click on here and choose rate. Add parameter behavior rate. Increase the rate. Too fast. There we go. That seems pretty good. And then I'm just going to take this replicator and I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate that. And, and then I can actually offset these in, in a different way. So. that's looking pretty good so I've got some electrons whizzing around and I'm supposed to be accurate we should maybe take one of these and make the radius a little smaller no exclusion principle there we go and then to finish this off I'll just lock these for now. I'm going to create a new generator, a new color solid. I have to do a new group first, new color solid. And that's just, and I'm going to make this, uh, it's going to be 3D, this layer, because we've got a camera. So I'm going to flip this by. 90 degrees move that down I'm just going to scale it right up to fill the floor pull it down a bit more okay just go to my perspective see what's going on stretch that out Make sure this is the bottom group. So I'm going to pull these, pull these up on top. Okay. Just change the color of this. Something. Generator. Let's just have a different color. There we go. Stretch that out into the distance. And put a light on this. Bring that up. I'm going to make it a, maybe a directional light. Tilt it down. Add some shadows. Make those soft and actually quite like a spotlight. That's pretty cool. Just going to bring this 
use my perspective to see where, where it is, bring it back to see the see the electrons. Maybe just increase the intensity a little bit. Okay. And there we've got our atomic at animation. Thank you.